baseball fans and welcome an AOS matchup on the show it's the Los Angeles Angels taking on the Seattle Mariners first pitch coming your way next just about set to go now and out of the hill in this one Logan Gilbert base runners are tough to come by with him out there Chris well he's been a real quality starter for his club and coming into this one what stands out for me is that right handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year it seems they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone so we'll see how right handers do against him in this one got him swinging well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him look it, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Brandon Drury to the plate. Righty delivers. And downstairs. One out, base is empty. That's a strike. Two and two. Two and two. And a good Both eye out. there. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swing and a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And next for L.A., Taylor Ward at the belt and fires. And now one and two. One ball, two strikes. The pitch. And now the count is even. Two balls, two strikes. Righty to the plate. Up and Down in. Four. Full count now. Drury, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. And that one ripped to left. And that's a fair ball. Lead runner around second. Lead runner holds at third. So two runners in scoring position and just one out. Showed some really nice patience in that at bat. Worked himself into a good count. Got a fastball, middle of the plate, jumped all over it. Absolutely smoked that ball. Willie Calhoun stands in here. Two on, one out. Inside just missed. Two and one. Left-hand batter waits. That catches the top part of the zone. And the count's even at two. And another ball. Logan O'Hoppy waits on deck. So now three and two. Well, that was such a great opportunity to grab the lead. You had the infield back. All you've got to do is just put the ball in play on the ground, and you drive across a run. It's a frustrating outcome for the hitter. Now, I'll still have a chance, but it's probably going to take a clutch hit with two outs. So in now for the Angels, Logan O'Hoppy. 
And now two and one. Well, lots of pitches thrown in this first inning, and it's kind of that nightmare scenario for starting pitching. But you know what? It's still early enough. He can settle in. He can get some length if he just cleans up his mechanics a little bit. The two one. Good eye in that spot. I almost feel like he's frustrated a little bit. He wants to be challenged. Mickey Moniak getting on deck circle. Fouls one away and now three and two. Line drive, base hit. One runs in, the throw home. Save. And they lead by two. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. Here's the center fielder, Mickey Moniak. Two outs. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. One and two is the count. And a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. of the at back coming up. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss struck him out. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. Angels two and the Mariners coming to bat. Back at T-Mobile Park. And today's starter, number 52. Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him. And they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. J.P. Crawford gets a chance to hit. That one finds the zone, and the count is even two and two. The pitch. And that one hit to first, and it goes just foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And there's one down. Now Scott service lined up for the Seattle Mariners and no doubt a big factor in this series so far Cal Raleigh and Boog he's a big time run producer for these guys man leading the team in homers runs batted in doing damage on the regular man making opposing pitchers just sweat out there it's kind of fun to watch get ready for a show when he steps into the box Mitch Garver up to hit here that's to third and he grabs it in foul ground. Fights that one away, still one and two. K 
kicks and deals. And that's oh. off the inside edge. Two and two. And two. That's excellent location for a pitch like that. It looks like it's going to be a strike, and then it just runs in on the hands. So if you can command it and hitters have to respect it, just keep going in there until they make you make an adjustment. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Next to hit, Cal Raleigh. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Two out spaces empty. Swings and misses. Three up, three down, inning over. Nobody left for Seattle. They trail it here, 2 nothing. Top of the second, there's the shortstop at the play. Zach Neto. The why to kick the pitch. Check swing. No appeal. And it's two and one. Two one. Swing and a miss. And he got him to chase. Two two. Ooh, one of our favorites. Jerry Hillsdale umpiring behind home plate in this one. Pretty much by the book with his strike zone. And because he's so by the book, you'll sometimes see pitchers questioning him. They'll make a good pitch on the edge of the zone, want the strike, and not get the call. But most of the time, Jerry gets it right. He's a good one. Singy, what kind of strike zone is most frustrating for hitters? I'd say off the plate, away, and down. And why? Those are the toughest locations to hit the baseball. Foul ball, another 2-2 upcoming. As the game has moved along, we see more and more information supplied by teams about the umpires. I've been in clubhouses where they have pictures of all four guys, nicknames, hometowns, and as well, hobbies listed. Oh, now this one's high and deep. Way back there, on its way, gone. That was blasted to the moon. His 13th home run of the season, it's 3-0. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts, finally squared one up. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spit on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Joe Adele. That one hammered, but pulled foul. Right hander kicks deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. In the air, right side. Rayleigh pulls it in on the run. The second baseman. Now it's the second baseman. In for a strike and a count. One and two. He goes down looking. Back to the top of the Angels lineup. Nolan Shanowell will hit next. Two down, nobody on. So a foul ball makes it one and two. And he deals. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. That's out number three. But the solo shot stretches their lead even further. It's now 3 nothing. You're dialed into the show.
Back in Seattle at the play. Julio Rodriguez. The center fielder. Julio Rodriguez. Here's a 1 1. Wouldn't chase that time. A 3 0 lead is great, but you can't get too comfortable. Got to stay aggressive, keep attacking hitters, try to cruise through this ball game. That will back up the middle and it gets through. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Let that pitch get pretty deep on him. So I think he was looking to go the other way. It was off speed and inside though. So a good adjustment to shoot it back up the middle. and misses and it's one and two and another ball the pitch swing and a pop off in foul ground and there's one down And up next for Seattle, Luke Rayleigh. Left hand hitter waits. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. And a pitch. And there's a ball. One. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a... There goes the runner. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Throw. Save. Oh, no. Singy, he definitely showed off the wheels there. Yeah, and it turned out to be a bang-bang play. StatCast gives us the data, and that stolen base wasn't possible without that sprint speed. The pitch. Swings and blasts one deep to left center, and no one can get there. The run comes in from second. It's 3-1, and he's got a double. Well, that was a great job of letting that runner steal second base, get in the scoring position, come through with the base knock, you add a run. Man at second with one away. And now for Seattle, Victor Robles. Outside low. And now three and one. One out and a runner at second, bottom half of inning number two. And he walked Take him. Your Here's Josh Rojas. 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 He's looking for a ground ball to get a double play and out of this jam. And here it comes. That's through there for a strike. And boy, that was the pitch. 3 1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Well, that event seemed to be over as soon as it started. Three pitch strikeout. You've got to be better at the plate right there. At least to foul something off, extend that at bat. So first and second with two outs. Here's Dylan Moore. Here's a high chopper. Bare hand grab. Nicely done for the out. 
But a run will score in the inning on this RBI double. It's now a 3-1 ball game. It's Major League Baseball on the show. All set for the start of the inning. Here's the third baseman, Brandon Drury. Brandon Drury. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a miss. One, two. Foul ball still a one and two count. Just miss. missed. It's a good take. Two, two. Bounced out to short. Crawford whips it across. He made the pitcher earn that out after a long at bat. Now that left fielder, Taylor Ward. And next for the Angels, Taylor Ward. Kicks and fires. Yeah. Swing and a miss. That is strike two. Two and two. Good job to fight that one off. The pitch. Swing and a miss. Handcuffed him with that slider. And there's two down. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Two outs. Base is empty. Willie Calhoun. The next to hit for the Angels. Down right. to the dirt, swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. On the ground, right side. Polanco tosses to first. Angels retired, one, two, three. Angels held in check. And the score stays three to one. And we're back, and the batter will be the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. The shortstop, J.P. Crawford. That one is absolutely belted. And it's off the wall. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Now at the plate, Mitch Garver. Here comes a pitch. On the ground, right side, and it's through for him. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Back-to-back -back singles. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. Cal Raleigh now at the plate. Well, Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Righty delivers. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Squeezes it, and there's one down. Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle not where he needed it to be. Two on, one out, and stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. 
the pitch. That one hooked foul. Two on, one out. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's always the key to effective pitching is getting ahead in the count. And as a pitcher, it really allows you to start expanding the zone. Hitters become defensive, and all of a sudden that plate starts to get really wide. And what happens is because of the pressure, you end up committing to a pitch as a batter before you recognize what it is, and that's what leads to the strikeout. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. And that one fouled off. Two outs, a couple of base runners at first and second. Two and two. In the dirt. Tag safe. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Line drive. He's got it. And that is the inning. Mariners leave a couple. Score holds. It's 3-1. Start of the fourth. Here's the Angels catcher, Logan Ohapi. Here's something cool, Boo. When they finished building T-Mobile Park back in 1999, they actually opened it up in the middle of the season. I remember as a rookie with the Chicago White Sox, we opened balls, the season at the Kingdom, and then when we came back later in the year, we were playing missed, at T-Mobile Park. It's a beautiful place, great scenery from center field, and I always enjoyed playing here. Out to short, Crawford. Fires across the diamond, and one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Mickey Moniak, the next to hit for the Angels. And that one pulled foul. Next pitch ball. is outside, and it's two and two. Base is empty, one away. Top half of inning number four. Hey. Swing and a miss at the splitter, and it's a strikeout. Well, a well-thrown splitter is going to do exactly that. Get you off balance thinking it's a fastball. Very similar to a changeup, but oftentimes a split's going to have even more downward movement with more velocity. Good pitch. That one lifted to left, under it. Brings it in for the third out. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. you and well, leading off the bottom there. of the fourth, Luke the right Rayleigh. Luke Rayleigh. Pitches outside. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Jack Kachanowitz preparing to come on if needed. Joyce also throwing. Righty to the plate. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Two two on the way. Full count. Mm -hmm. 
in the air out towards left center brings it in and there's one away everyday during batting practice these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps they practice this and when the game comes they make the play perfectly and now it's Victor Robles up to him and the right hander deals center field and that'll fall for a base hit so they get a man aboard with a one out single well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. Josh Rojas, the next to hit, and a pitch. There's the swing and a miss. One and two is the count. And the righty deals. Ground ball right side could be two. One at second. Return throw to first. Got him. Double play. And that'll do it. One hit in the inning, but nothing more than that. We played four. It's the Angels three and the Mariners one. We go to the top of the fifth. So in now for the Angels, Joe Adele. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. His second homer of this series, and they add a run. It's 4-1. And that shot makes their grip on the lead even tighter. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time, took a direct path to the ball, excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Here's the second baseman. That's down and in, a slider missed. 2-1. Here's a 2-1. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Activity in the bullpen. Trent Thornton getting ready to go. Santos, a hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Nobody on, nobody out, and we're at the top of the fifth. Next Down offering upstairs. Here in the fifth inning, and here he is about to throw his 100th pitch. Man, he's really had to grind through to get to this point. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Payoff pitch. And there's ball Take four. Your base. Ball four. Now bad at the first baseman. No so the lineup flips Shonawell. over. And here's the first baseman, Nolan Shonawell. Runner at first with no outs here. In there at the knees. And it's one and two. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. The pitch. That's the ball. Two, two. They've had a great plan of attack for him tonight. I mean, finding all the holes in his swing and his approach, just frustrating for him up there. You strike out a guy three times in a game, I think that guy's got to go back and really study some video with his hitting coach, figure out how they're beating him, make this adjustment really quick, because word will get around the league in a hurry. Brandon Drury digs in now. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing and a foul straight back.
Kicks and deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. Got him. And there's two away. Another batter now. Taylor Ward. Ward. Two outs. That one fouled off. Two and two. And a pitch. Ward checks his swing. Now an appeal to first. No swing. Kenny Jansen with the call. Three two now. And that's the strikeout looking. Put the bottom of the zone with a curve for strike three. But the Angels add to the lead on this solo blast. It's now a 4-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Jack Kachanowitz. And this is an important part of this game. Tight Number score 64. and still a lot of outs to yeah. get. So they're looking for a big outing out of him right here to get some critical outs. Leading off, Dylan Moore. For the Mariners, the third baseman. The wind of the pitch. In the air, right field. Adele going after it. Makes the catch for the out. One down. The bat. A shortstop, J.P. Crawford. Back to the top of the Seattle order. And now the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. The Halos leading by three. Last half of inning number five. That one two way outside, and it's two and two. <laughs> Got him. Now two out. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Two outs, base is empty. Now the number two hitter, Mitch Garver. The wind and the pitch. He struck him out looking with the off speed stuff. And one, two, three, go to Mariners. And this is still a 4 1 ball game. We're back, and they make a change to start the six. The new pitcher, Trent Thornton. He's been so good against lefties. And now, Willie Calhoun. The designated hitter, Willie. At the belt and fires. This one in the air, right field. Rayleigh under it. Pulls it in, and there's one away. The batter, the catcher, Logan. And next for LA, Logan O'Hoppy. Base is empty, one away, and we're the top half of the sixth. One down, base is empty. Swings through that one, it's a strikeout. 
He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. And now the center fielder, Mickey Moniak. Two down, nobody on. Just oh, missed. Movement in the bullpen. Mike Bauman appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Two outs. Fouls one off. Two and two. Left hand batter waits. Spoils that one and it remains two and two. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Offense held in check there. Hard in the order. Three, four, five coming up. Angels four and the Mariners one. T-Mobile Park and now the switch hitting catcher Cal Raleigh the catcher. this is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out yeah and because he's got the big arm he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it Oh. And that skips in the dirt. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanics intact and have a better opportunity of getting that hitter out with a swing and miss. He was all over that one. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Ball to strike. The pitch. No nope. ball. Raleigh on at first. Nobody out. That one fouled off. Two and two. Right-handed reliever. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Oh, there's a small sigh of relief right there. I mean, just to keep that speed off the base pass, it's not just the pitcher. It's other guys that have to think about it, from your infielders, have to think about that runner potentially stealing, but also be in position to make a play. As an outfielder, you're thinking about a base hit to the outfield. i got to get to it quickly to try to keep this guy from taking an extra base. So I think everyone just a little more relaxed that he didn't reach base in there and so now one and two man at first one away two two squirts away a little bit and the runner holds the pitch foul off the plate they'll do it again Got it by him for the K. Oh, well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after giving up the leadoff single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Now it's the right fielder, Luke Rayleigh. The Mariners trailing by three here in the bottom of the sixth. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Well, this looks like it's going to be a wasted opportunity. It's frustrating when you get the leadoff man on, but you can't get him into scoring position. They're going to need a big knock. Try to put something up on the board. The pitch. Blows the high heat past him. That's a strikeout. One left for Seattle, and they trail it 4-1.
We go to the top of the seventh. Now it's the shortstop, Zach Neto. And a pitch. And this is inside. And that's ball four. Ball four. Take your base. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. So a man aboard. And next for the Angels, Joe Adele. Kicks and fires. Late with the swing there. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. On the ground, a second might be two. Off balance feed, there's one. But no throw to first as he'll hold on to it. Now it's the second baseman. The pitch. Swings over the top of that one. Sometimes being lucky is a swing and miss. If he makes contact with that pitch, probably hits into a double play. The one two. Wouldn't chase that time. Two balls, two strikes. And he deals. That to right. Really makes the grab, and there's two gone. Now that the first baseman, Nolan Shonuel. Nolan Shonuel, the next to hit for the Angels. Adele leads off first with two down to the inning. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. One and two here. Fights it off. He'll see another. Thornton checks on he's first. Adele gets back easily. Base runner with a one-way lead right there. All he's trying to do is get a look at the pitcher's move. Had no intent of stealing on that pitch. Two outs. Bows it back with two strikes. Here's a one-two. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And he's gone for the fourth time tonight. Angels leave one as they hold on to a 4-1 lead. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Number 59. And one thing on him, he's been really good this season at keeping the ball in the park. Not an easy guy to take deep. Here's Victor Robles. This is a guy you got to keep an eye on when he digs in. Definitely been known to drop a drag bump from time to time, and he's pretty good at it, Chris. Yeah, and he creates a, a sense of urgency for the defense because of the speed, because of the ability to put down that ball. Fouled off. He was late. Now you see even sluggers from time to time try and use the bunt really as a way to beat the shift. And a pitch. Bows it off, still one and two. Battling here as he fouls it away. Ground ball right side. 
Steps on yep. first for the out. Next is the designated hitter, Josh Rojas. Base is empty one away near the bottom of the seventh. Popped up. Drury settles under it. He's got it. There's two away. Now back, the third baseman. Dylan Moore getting ready to hit. Two down, nobody on. Swung on, bolted. That ball's carrying. And that one is going to go. A towering shot to center. It's 4-2. Just an excellent swing all the way around, and it had that sound coming off the bat that gets everyone's attention. Got a pitch to drive, short to the baseball, squared it up, and the backspin carried it out of here. Back to the top of the lineup, J.P. Crawford up next for the Mariners. Left-hand hitter waits. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Not two close with that one. Now two and two. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Carlos Estevez, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Fulmer getting loose as well. Here comes a pitch. That That's one misses. Three and two now. Mitch Garver up next for the Mariners. Righty delivers. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. And swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. Seattle gets a little closer on this solo homer. It's now 4-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back, and a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Gregory Santos. This is his third time out this year. Now the third baseman, Brandon Drury. The third baseman, Brandon Drury. The 2-1. And a foul ball. And here it comes. Swings through it for the play. Slider got him for strike three. Well, that's the money maker right there. Two strikes, slider down and away from a same side thrower as the hitter. I mean, that's just tough. You're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off. Gets him to chase after that one. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Mike Bauman appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. Yeah. 
One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Very strong coming out of the pen so far as he punches out the first two batters he's faced in this one, getting straight to work. Man, it's talked about a lot, but relievers are just so electric these days. He's going fun at bats if you're a hitter, but I'm so glad I'm retired. Off the mark there, two and one. Two down, nobody on. And we're in the top of the eighth. Breaking ball inside. And now three and two. Out to short. In time to Garber. And it's a one, two, three inning. Angels go quietly there, but they still lead this one four to two. on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth Hunter Strickland coming on to face a righty here and he's been fantastic against him this year his numbers in those matchups are very good and now the first baseman Mitch Garver the first baseman Mitch Garver and now two balls and a strike They tried Ball. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. And yeah, the right hater deals. Hey. And that's in for a strike. Down and full. Hey. Got him. And that's one away as the leadoff man is out in the eighth. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Now it's going to be Cal Raleigh. The pitch. In the air, left field. Ward drifts towards it. Nabs it. Two away down. The center fielder, number 44, Julio, Julio Rodriguez, Rodriguez, up next for the Mariners. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, and they'll probably hand it off to their closer for the ninth with at least a two-run lead. Next oh. offering misses. The count now two and two. This one popped up right side. Moving under this one. And he makes the catch. And that is the third out of the inning. Mariners are down in order. They trail it here, four to two. And we're back. Here's the catcher, Logan O'Hoppy. Logan O'Hoppy. The one one. And he hits a ground ball right side. Not in hey. time. An infield knock to start the inning. Man at first, oh, next Mickey Angels. Moniak, the He's next to hit for the Angels. Mickey. Ohapi gets Mickey. his lead at first with nobody out. And that one hammered. Rodriguez drops step going back. Pulls it in on the warning track. So in now for the Angels, Zach Neto. He launched this solo shot back.